Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode from the series of affordable school fountain pens made in China. I have here a new Chinese product for you at a quite reasonable price. We are talking today about this interesting, interesting pack from um, the Chinese manufacturer Ai Hao and I present to you the Ai Hao 20453 set. I It was bought at my local Chinese store and I paid for it 9 lays, which means I paid only 1.82 euros or 1.98 American dollars. And I chose uh, this color. It was also available in a light blue color and I think a light green color. Well, I choose this light pink color because it is a set made for young girls and uh, I did not see this pink color so often. In fact, I bought the last piece of this wonderful pink color uh, fountain pen. As you can see, it comes wrapped in this uh, pack. On uh, the front side, we have this logo of the Ihao manufacturer and two Chinese characters. We have in English written fountain pen and refill ink. The re refill ink, uh, it means that we have some ink cartridges. In fact, we have eight ink cartridges. So this fountain pen for sure uses those ink cartridges and maybe it can be fitted also with an ink converter. The name of this set, 20453. And on the back we have fountain pen set some uh, Chinese characters, some uh, refill information, and I will zoom on those pictures. So this, the first picture shows us how to disassemble the barrel section. The next picture shows us how to insert the ink cartridge. We have to insert it quite firmly, and after that we can put back the barrel section. We have some phone numbers, some site of the manufacturer ihao www.ihao.com and an email address we also have a code bar okay so now i'm ready to open this beauty and see what is all about so let me see how i can open it Maybe I will uh, give uh, give uh, this set as a gift to some uh, children. And uh, yes, for this reason, guys, I will try to open it as uh, gentle as I can. So I will simply take my scissors and cut it right through the plastic. Okay, like this, guys. And now I, maybe I can uh, take out the content yes it peels right off as you can see and now i can take out this little box a cardboard box that contains again eight ink cartridges blue ink cartridges i have here the fountain pen and i hope that i i will manage to take also this the cap so it looks like this the cap is pressure fit, it, it looks quite, quite nice. As you can see, we have the same uh, pink motif here and uh, the barrel is quite plain. We have a white barrel, a uh, white ivory, I, I should say, some uh, rings here painted. Interesting, here we have a gray one and the others are matching the color of the cap. Also, at the end of the barrel, we have the logo and two Chinese characters. It's interesting that the barrel squeezes gently at the ending. 
maybe a design feature meant to host the cap so the cap can be fitted let me see on this yes and it is firmly fit as you can see quite quite nice the cap is pressure fit and it reveals this grip section the grip section has uh, those interesting parts meant for you to hold the fountain pen like this the end of the gripping section has this metallic element i'm not so sure if it's real metal or just a plastic part with uh, some uh, shiny lacquer on it the nib you can see is a semi-hooded nib i'm not so sure the dimensions of the nib now i will try to open the barrel and we don't have an ink converter included so this fountain pen can use those ink cartridges i'm not so sure that if they are international size ink cartridges but uh, being eight of them i'm sure that when you are through with all of them instead of buying one uh, new pack which is uh, quite affordable you can refill the ink cartridges using a syringe with whatever color of ink you prefer okay guys so let me show you also the design of the cap i'm not so sure what it reminds me of uh, lami safari especially this line on the cap let me see how uh, springy it is it is incredible spring a uh, spring uh, clip a uh, simple clip a uh, nice nice looking clip okay so i shown you that we can post this fountain pen and i will use it posted again i will unscrew the barrel and we will do a writing sample with this beautiful beautiful fountain pen but before i will do the writing sample i will leave its dimensions on the screen and uh, i will also change the angle of the camera for me to do the writing sample let me see guys so gently i will change the angle of the camera and yes i think that this is a nice nice fit okay so those are the cartridges this is the fountain pen i will take the scissors out and for the writing sample i will use this beautiful beautiful travel uh, note uh, travel journal that i got from my friend inia and if you don't know the episode check it out it uh, is a real real nice notepad with this uh, quite quite uh, le nice leather um, exterior manual made and uh, this is a quality paper made by herlitz okay guys now i have here the fountain pen i will open uh, this simple box again chinese characters on it i don't know what they say certainly an eight and it contains eight cartridges and i think i will open it from this side let me see if i can yes they are like this i will take two of them why i take two of them i want to see if i can host one reserve in the barrel but it appears no not and uh, it is quite stuck there i hope i can take it out oh guys i hope i didn't make a mistake let me see i don't have some pliers but i have these scissors 
and I hope I can take it out. Let me see. Oh, yes, I've managed to take it out. So don't do as I do, guys. Well, um, I was mistaken because this one and this one, I don't think they fit the barrel. So it takes only one cartridge. You heard that sound. It means that it is inserted. For a moment or two, we will leave it like this. Maybe I will apply some gentle pressure to see if the ink reaches the nib. It doesn't, it didn't reach the nib yet. So maybe I will uh, leave it for a few seconds like this. Again, those Chinese made ink cartridges like, are quite hard, so I can't apply lots of pressure with my fingers but i hope it will be okay you can always do like this and we will see this is why guys i prefer uh, the new fountain pens to have an ink converter because with the ink converter you emerge all of this part in ink and uh, the fountain pen draws the ink through this um, feeder the ink and in a way it lubricates all the zones till it reaches the ink converter but with this ink cartridge you have to wait for the ink to reach the nib section and sometimes when you are in a hurry that uh, waiting period is quite annoying and um, you want to cheat in a way and apply pressure on um, the ink cartridge so i'm pretty sure it will work again at this price maybe you are laughing now look he spent uh, one euro and it doesn't work but it should work guys but with a little patience I will pause the video this time and I will leave it here for 30 minutes and after that I will tell you if I got the results or not. I will leave it like this but I will cap it guys because if you don't cap it the air enters in contact with the tip of the nib and the ink could dry so I will leave it like this in this position for half an hour i should say like this right here i hope it will stay yes i will leave it here for half an hour and then i will return with the writing sample i hope that it will work after half an hour well guys i have returned i am very very impatient so i didn't let it for half an hour but just for 10 minutes I'm quite curious to see if it writes now. So I'm trying to write with it here. No. And it's definitely a problem with the ink cartridge. So again, it's quite resistant. Maybe if I take it out and guys it appears that i've done a rookie mistake look here guys so you see a ball a slight sphere at the end of the ink cartridge well in order for the ink to reach the grip section of the fountain pen that little ball should be in uh, this tank so definitely i didn't apply lots of pressure to this so one trick guys don't apply this pressure with your simple finger but put it like this and now you push it yes and now i think i've made contact so it should it should work again i didn't let it a, a long time but being a new fountain pen it should write 
as good for the first time but you can see it does not want to write i will do just a test to make sure that it is fully inserted and you can see how hard for me it is to take it off yes so this time guys let me zoom on it you don't see that ball anymore so we should have a nice a nice amount of ink flow let me take a little pressure and apply i almost can see the ink so gently gently apply the pressure no like it does not want to work it's quite frustrating guys so it happened uh, i wanted to apply a little pressure and look at my hands guys they are all full of ink but i've managed to make it work and look at this guys so it works guys let me put back the barrel we unscrew the barrel and now i am ready for a writing session so bear in mind guys sometimes not with these sets but in general with a fountain pen that uses ink cartridges especially a new one although it is a new one and should have all the ink flow adjusted sometimes you need to apply pressure for it to work the first time but i'm sure that this i have a product will do a nice nice little job so i'm sorry that i'm using the same piece of the notebook so guys this is a nice how product so i how the name of uh, this model is written right over here so two zero four five three and it is a pack this was made in china and i have also i believe the manufacturing date written right over here so it was i believe built on the date of 18 the month of may in the year 2020 okay guys so it includes a um, beautiful pink light pink fountain pen and eight blue ink cartridges okay guys let me see how juicy this nib is by the way i did not tell you it's quite juicy i did not tell you that we have here a steel nib steel nib i i will call it a hooded nib a hooded nib Although at first I had the impression that it is a semi-hooded nib, now I can see that only the end of the tines are visible. So with a hood nib, this is a steel nib, like I said. And judging by the way it writes, I believe we have a fine nib. A fine nib. If I want to write it with in reverse, we have reverse writing, definitely a possibility. And in reverse writing, it writes like an extra fine one. So quite, quite nice. The reverse writing is possible. No ink flow lost and certainly no scratching of the ink. Okay. And now let me see if we have a flexible nib. No, no flex, no visible flex. And let me see if we have 
some line variations so this no pressure and this pressure I'm not so sure maybe I will call it a very little a little line variation okay guys now I will use uh, also this paper because I will tell you about the quick brown fox and maybe you can compare it with the mechanical pencil made by H&H in China so let me tell you about the quick brown fox that jumps over the lazy dog and at the bottom of the page we will see if it's good on a signature yes so guys this was my review of this unbelievable affordable chinese school fountain pen although at first we had that little problem with uh, the cartridge and the ink flow now the ink problem is resolved and i think that you should take care of this type of fountain pen after you use it please clean it up using even a syringe if you have one available but if you let it unused for a long period of time the ink could get stuck in the inner tubes of it and I uh, think that uh, it would take you a long, long time to clean it. That being said, this is a wonderful, wonderful fountain pen and an incredible, incredible price. So for less than uh, two euros or two American dollars, you have yourself a beautiful, beautiful writing instrument, quite light and quite easy to use. Believe me, guys, this nib is very very fine and uh, considering that it is a quite quite light fountain pen i believe that you can ride with it for long session of time so guys this was my review of the ihao set the set includes uh, this piece and eight cartridges in this box this was my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. The set name is 20453 and it is quite quite a nice a nice set. I recommend this set for it to be used by young children and uh, believe me guys it is quite quite incredible quality at this price. I'm not saying it is unbelievable, but the nib does a very, very good job and it is quite practical with those ink cartridges. You can use it almost as a removable writing instrument. You don't, you know that I like the recycling part. So if you can reuse a product, why not reuse it guys? Because it certainly costs a monetary cost but also an environmental cost for it to be produced i'm talking about energy and all the work that it was put on it thank you guys for your time i wanted to wish you as always to have a wonderful day wherever you are if you've enjoyed this unboxing and you want to see new or vintage writing instruments being reviewed on my channel please support my activity by subscribing to the pen collector i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless